slime. What I really like about these is the itty bitty sticker. Uh, you might have known a little bit of a, a, a shrink uh, in, the, in the sticker on that. Um, just gives a little bit of, uh, more of what you came to see in terms of the pop. Uh, but yeah, I love that one. Love really, that one. really cool. Uh, we've got some Tokyo Ghoul pops as well. Um, so, wow, I'm going to have a terrible time pronouncing <laughs> all of Go these on. names. <laughs> Why don't you try, Jess? Uh, this is my favourite road <laughs> people on the uh, Let's go, uh, I'm going to say uh, Ginshi Sharuza, or Sharuza, <laughs> the <laughs> thick Australian <laughs> accent. Mm. <laughs> and uh, Toru Mit Mitsuki. I'm gonna say, let's go with oh, that. that was horrible. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I did Japanese for one month. <laughs> um, and then we've also horrible. got Hai's, oh god, this is horrible. <laughs> Hai's Sasaki, Saiko, Yoni, oh my, why? Yonichi <laughs> Baichi, and uh, Kuki Yuri. Yeah! Yeah! Very yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. From the anime. Actually, quite a not too bad an anime. I started watching it and it was pretty good. What's it about? Mm -hmm. I was crawling around underneath the table trying to. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I was going to say. That's great. Great. Yeah, it's good. It's good. And Excellent. I think this is like a, a redux of the animation. Is that it's like a newer edition or is it a sequel? These um, re, take it full re. Am I saying that? I'm actually not too sure. I know I definitely watched the original mm. anime. I don't know if this is it, but hey, Tokyo yep. Ghoul. New pops, new boxes. <laughs> Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Yes, uh, we've got yeah. some Funko Ween stuff that has just landed as well, which is pretty exciting. A lot of black light stuff. So we have a couple of sodas. We've got the mayor from Nightmare Before Christmas, and of course Jack Skellington as well. Can you just turn the mayor around? No, just. So I'm going to unbox this one. I thought this was really mm. awesome. Um, Very and, cool. Yeah, I, as soon as I saw that, it was it pretty much sold me. Because uh, I loved MBX uh, and love the man. Uh, and uh, yeah, man. It definitely translates really well to a Funko soda. Like, he looks really, really mint. Yeah. Um, and we've also got some black light um, Funko Pop keychains as well, which I can't see the, the characters from here. Um, okay, wait, no, we've got Sally, Zero, <laughs> Jack Skeleton, and Hookie Boogie. Um, we've also got um, a 13 day countdown advent calendar that features more black light pops from the Nightmare Before Christmas, which is pretty, pretty cool. Mm, it so, is. A great. lot of black light pops there in the um, Funko Ween. Um, we also have new pops from Lightyear that have just come in, which I'm pretty, pretty excited about. I watched the uh, little doco on Disney Plus talking about, um, you know, how Buzz Lightyear started and how he's now going to be a movie star and, da -da 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 and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's an interesting watch. Anyway, in terms of pops, we have Buzz, of course, we have Zerg, we have Socks, we've got Buzz Lightyear again. And again, and then we also have Izzy as well, which is really cool. Looking forward to finding out more about that character. Definitely. And check yeah. it out on Disney Plus, the Docker, sponsored by. So just a quick, quick little plug. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited for this film, uh, especially to see the main character, Zerg, uh, played by um, Andy's character, Guy. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, you, you, you come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding. <laughs> Uh, with these awesome <laughs> Godfather 50, 50 years uh, <laughs> pop vinyls. Uh, so, Vito, Corleone, uh, Michael, uh, and as well as Sonny. Uh, awesome to see these ones. But they did release uh, Godfather Pops uh, a little while ago, and good to see in this celebration that they release uh, some new pops. And uh, man, like that Vito alone is uh, a staple. Uh, for any collection, whether you need the whole uh, three, I mean, why not? But uh, him there, oh, it's just with the cap. And it is, you'll, you'll come to me on the day. You can't refuse these pops. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, they are really, really cool. They're, they're really awesome, uh, and uh, yeah, we highly recommend. If any of these aren't in stock on the website, it just means that we're shipping out the pre-orders at the moment. So keep coming back. Uh, next week, and they will be, but that doesn't mean if you hit the pre-order that they won't be shipped out as well, or that they will be. Um, and the last thing we're talking about is uh, the Star Wars diecast, uh, which Bianca, we are giving away. 
We sure are. So make sure you are commenting or just participating in the live feed because you may get a chance to win this bad boy. Um, so it's Dark Vader, it's Dark Arse, he's fully metal. It is so, so cool. Pretty um, heavy too, right? Like, yeah, really heavy. I was just thinking I'm not going to attempt picking it up. Yeah. <laughs> this one comes with a chase, right, as well? Sure. Yes, it does. <laughs> Rhetorical question. Uh, it uh, is a gunmetal, uh, grey, kind of like stainless steel kind of look. Uh, and they did the same with the Boba Fett. Uh, with these, it is a kind of lucky dip as to whether you end up getting one. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot request it. Uh, so if you do get it, amazing, congratulations. Uh, but yeah, if you, you can't request it or you can't request uh, the, the standard one either. It's just a luck of a draw. Depends on whether the uh, warehouse picker uh, picks it out of the box and hooray, it's, it's yours. What if I ask the picker to Get me the chase. You just went out the No, can we do that? No. What if I did it? Uh, what if I went out to the warehouse? Uh, but what if I did it? What if I did it already? Yeah. <laughs> well, you did it, right? But it won't happen, Blake. It but, won't happen. But... What if, it, what if it did? Well, you're, you're pushing. pushing <laughs> you're, you're, we're going to have to rein you in, mate. Um, got heaps of other stuff. Yeah. Talk about Jess. Is there anything on here that's, that's going? Uh, well? Sure. Also, just to go back to the Darth Vader ones, um, they come as themselves by themselves in a two pack with that and the Boba Fett diecast Ooh, and up, a up, mystery up, box. Up, so many choices. Ooh. I'm overwhelmed with choices <laughs> right now, and I'm also just overwhelmed by how much stuff's on the table. Um, let's go with socks. It's cold. It's winter woolies time. Um, <laughs> get your toesies nice and covered with these nice Animal Crossing KK slider socks. Ooh. They look warm. They look nice. And they're nice, you know, yellow in a uh, size 8 to 12. Wow. Ooh. I don't know. Oh, it's all feet are catered for. Oh, mate. <laughs> Too much for you to count. Oh, <laughs> that must be lovely. <laughs> Um, as well as that, we've also got some Spider-Man no, no Way Home socks. I believe this is a three-pack, so wow, it's a really cold layer up, mate. Um, oh, you really can set. match those ones with the, the beans. All your different oh, Spider-Man yeah. themed oh. costumes and uh, things. Yeah, <laughs> <Those> socks. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we also got this cool uh, Soka beanie and uh, scarf set. Really going to keep you warm in our uninsulated houses in Victoria because they're shit. <laughs> but yeah... <laughs> Gift bundle, good for Christmas, why not? Yeah. Um, yeah. More beanies. Uh, <laughs> Spider Man. You like Spider Man, Bianca? I do like Spider Man. You like this beanie? And this beanie has Spider Man logo. Bianca on. likes the beanie, get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool though, it's got the webbing and stuff on it. It's got yeah. the Homecoming MCU Spider Man logo. It is really, really cool. We like it, we like it. Yeah. And then to wrap it up with the clothing, let's go with a nice corduroy nightmare on Elm Street mm, cap corduroy. from Bio World. I love me some good cord. We love some cords. Got Andy them. Love some cords. Oh mate. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, you still have cords. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> um, and got some nice embroidery for um the text and stuff like that. Good quality. Nice classic head. Embroidery on corduroy. Oh man. Embroidery. Yeah. That's embroidery. <laughs> um, Everything about that. We got some more uh, reaction figures from Super Seven, uh, and we got Heat uh, as well. So you'll probably see a lot of these coming on the upcoming shows uh, because we have so much and so little time to talk about every single uh, awesome quality product. Uh, we've got the It 1990 movie uh, Pennywise, so two different versions. Uh, you've got kind of the, the classic looking and then the monster Pennywise. Uh, really awesome things that um, Super 7 do. Not only are they different sculpts, but the, the actual packaging design, very in, the same in terms of uh, design, but you've got different kind of Pennywise monster as well as the normal look there. So it really uh, shines if you were to put them together. Uh, they live one of the best movies that I've seen for sure, Rowdy Roddy <laughs> Piper, um, and oh, just awesome concept uh, and really, really awesome. They uh, knock it out of the park, Super 7, with these reaction figures. Uh, you've got kind of the classic two, as you would um, as you would see them uh, in you full colour. special colors. specs on Well, how you actually see them with the special specs, uh, Luke, is like uh, this. So, uh, in black and white, you see the alien for who they are, and you see the subliminal messages uh, that uh, are underneath all of the 
the normal. Uh, so you've got obey, submit, uh, and uh, this is a set that I had to pick up. So I do own these. Uh, they have come back into stock, so I would highly recommend uh, picking these ones up while we still have them. They sold out really quickly. Consume, uh, so people. Consume. 100% <laughs> consume, obey, work, sleep, play. Um, and yeah, oh, just so good. These next ones are even better, Bianca. Yeah, we got SpongeBob SquarePants. Let's start off with the iconic SpongeGar or the Caveman SpongeBob, which is really, really, really cool. Um, we've also got SpongeBob Skull Pants, which is awesome. Um, we've got Karate SpongeBob. I just love how they wrote it like that. It's just absolutely perfect. And we have Bear Geek Spongebob as well. So many Spongebobs, so many memes, so much Spongebob iconic moments. So good. All in uh, a bunch of 3.75 reaction figures. Like, just really, really cool. Yeah, Wave 1 was awesome. Uh, and you can see that on the back. Uh, just classic kind of Spongebob. Uh, oh, Squidward, Patrick, Mr. Krabs. Oh, obviously, uh, and then SpongeBob, and hoping Wave Three, uh, if they do it, would uh, include um, the Doodle SpongeBob. The, uh, the what it, you know, it draws him. You know, he's angry. Uh, what's his name? I don't remember off the top of my Let head. Down. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Let down. One I'm thing. hoping to see some more SpongeBob Patricks knowledge. as well, like mm. the meme Patrick with his um, mouth really wide open, like he's just learned the truth about life. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, continuing the theme of action figures, heaps from different uh, manufacturers, Mattel, uh, this awesome collaboration uh, between WWE as well as Master of the Universe. You get Masters of the WWE Universe. What? So, yeah, really awesome to kind of see this mashup between wrestlers as well as uh, Masters of the Universe, uh, and then again in the retro 5.5 inch origin style. Uh, so. Yeah, oh, these are awesome. You've got China, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin uh, in kind of a trap jaw uh, deco as well. And then the best one that I have seen, Rey Mysterio in kind of the Stratos uh, vibe as well. Uh, yeah, these are really awesome. I really dig these. Just looking at these, it's actually not too far off what wrestling in the 80s looked like anyway. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. with the characters, the yeah. over-the-top characters. Yeah, and I think that's what's really awesome is that they... Uh, thought about each kind of uh, wrestler as well as kind of lining them up with mm. uh, Master of the Universe characters to kind of give it a little bit of uh, realism is a little bit of an extent, uh, but um, it, it kind of works for each of those wrestlers and the characters cool. they're trying to be. Uh, we definitely get onto these. Uh, if you're a fan of WWE, fan of Master of the Universe, but fan of just retro looking toys as well. Um, and two Ultimate Edition Mattel action figures as well. Two of uh, my favourite wrestlers. Bianca, you, you 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 like wrestling, right? I do like wrestling, and I know who these wrestlers are. So oh, that's it's even better. That means you can talk. <laughs> <laughs> so we have The Undertaker and we have Kane, just old school brothers of destruction. Um, really, really cool. So they come with like heaps of accessories, um, interchangeable heads, all that kind of stuff. I'm just loving the whole undertaker ministry of darkness kind of cloak look in that one there and how kane has the um title belt as well that's a really really nice touch um so these are from mattel and um they are the ultimate editions and yeah these are really really cool like there should be more of these they are i really, really like them yeah oh they're really <laughs> awesome uh and mainly because uh they use oh it's the higher end of the uh, WWE action figures uh, and because of all the accessories that it comes with um, and the detail that goes into them. It's the ultimates, baby! <laughs> it's the ultimates! Uh, and uh, yeah, awesome stuff. There's heaps of Mattel WWE action figures uh, and we'd highly recommend getting onto the website and checking those out. Um, We've got some Spawn action figures oh, too from McFarlane Toys. Oh, this, this is where it's at. Uh, Luke, you really like Spawn, or these kind of look the action figures, right? No? Uh, sure. Throwing you under buses. <laughs> sure. Uh, I don't actually know too much about no, Spawn, but alright. <laughs> They're cool looking. They are cool looking, and I think at the very least you can appreciate that. I definitely can. Um, I'm mean, always got, a big fan of a loincloth. Big fan of a loincloth. And he's, uh, he's got one hell of a loincloth there. Mm. Uh, chains dangling, again, around the crutch region. Like big chain. fan of that. Um, 
But they've got really, really cool details on these. Heaps of textural stuff going on. This guy's got some pretty gnarly hands there. <laughs> um, I take the look of this guy. It's um, mean um, Sorry, ass. what? What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, pretty cool figures there. They are uh, Spawn being a creation of McFarlane Toys. Uh, owner, uh, Todd McFarlane, uh, selling it out with the, uh, with the actual comic book series, uh, and then uh, owning a toy company, naturally you're going to make action figures of your own uh, content. Why uh, wouldn't you? Oh, no, no reason why not to. <laughs> uh, but really awesome figures, uh, and there are so many more awesome figures from Spawn coming out uh, and pre-order, uh, as well as there's going to be heaps uh, in stock as well. My favourite thing that uh, McFarlane does, and it's probably no surprise for anyone that knows me, are these DC Multiverse uh, 70 scale action figures. Uh, so these are really awesome from different, uh, pulled from different comic book and source material. Uh, you've got the Batman of Earth 22, the infected Batman, really awesome, like the colours on this really pop, it's kind of like a Joker slash Batman uh, influence there. It is there. really cool, especially this um, photograph on the back here. Yeah, oh, it, it's awesome, especially because the, the photographs on the back are, as they um, pose them as well as take photography. Uh, yeah, oh, it's so cool. Uh, you've got the Flash or Wally West version from DC Rebirth as well. Uh, so a new costume designed for him, uh, and you can now uh, own an action figure for him as well. That's pretty exciting. Superman John Kent, uh, Superman's son. Uh, really awesome to see uh, an action figure done for a character that you don't see a lot of merchandise for. Uh, and he's got a cool picture on the back too. Does, That's does. Me, yes. um, so you may know him from Super Sons or you may know him from uh, DC Future State, which is uh, which this one is from. One of my favourite characters in the DC Universe, you've got Martian Manhunter, uh, this time in a McFarlane Gold Label series. Uh, more of a comic book accurate action figure uh, or appearance from Martian Manhunter. So cool, amazing. Check out some source material for him if you're interested. Uh, one of the original G Justice League founding members as well. There's so much cooler than Superman or Batman um, and not enough time to explain why. Um, <laughs> so just, just trust me on that. But Have if, a go if you want. No, nah, no, nah, there's no time, there's no time. Um, <laughs> you've got Batman Hush, so from Batman Hush, uh, inspired oh, the comic book series by Jim Lee. Uh, this is a Hush and Batman, uh, stylized after that comic book series. Awesome two pack. I mean, you get it's Batman, really cool. you get Hush, um, and uh, this this is really really awesome. One of the better two packs I've seen anyone do. Um, who's Hush? Who's Hush? Oh, well, you have to read the comic book to uh, find out. Do I have to? Uh, you wouldn't. Can, can you just not? tell it? Yeah. Can you just tell No, no. Andy and I have ruined too many things on this show. <laughs> I'm not going to ruin this. What's his uh, powers at least? Oh, he's just anger uh, yeah. and uh, wanting to right the wrongs he's, he's perceived in his life. Um, okay. and, but when you unwrap the bandages, that's that's when you find out. Like, he's got to find out what? Uh, find out. You find out. Okay, I'm, yes. I'm just going to Google it. Yeah, I've got to. Yeah, good. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't. No, no, not yet. <laughs> uh, oh, look, the Joker's a dragon. That's right. For some it's the, reason. It's what? the Joker dragon from the Dark Knights, uh, or Dark Knights Metal. Uh, this is an awesome figure. Two scale uh, with the other seven inch action figures. Uh, and this is it's amazing. So iconic appearance when he takes dragon form. Uh, and uh, yeah, awesome to see in all his nuts. Should I ask nuts. you what is happening here? Or yeah, you know? sure, yeah. I mean, I won't tell you, but yeah, yeah, sure. Does every Joker have a dragon form, uh, or just this one? <laughs> Did, could Heath Ledger have done that? Sure. Cool. <laughs> um, Any well, questions? Is the same universe as the Batman who laughs? Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so all different versions of uh, Batman, uh, Joker, basically. Um, but this is in one pulled from one specific um, yeah, yeah, comic book. That's really cool. Yeah. Really awesome, and uh, yeah, I really, really like this, especially when they do, again, characters and designs that haven't previously uh, gotten a lot of attention. So, But that's from McFarlane, and even better, we've got uh, a regular guest and someone we don't see nearly enough of. Uh, <laughs> yes, you've guessed it, it's Handsome Will. Uh, and <laughs> surprise, surprise, he's talking about records. Uh, and that's the name of the game, Handsome Will. That's me, but uh, thank you very much for that rundown on DC, Sandy. I could listen oh. to you talk about those things all day. Thanks. Alright, that's it for Handsome Will. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, this week I've got a handful of records. So I've got a top half of just new releases, standard records, and bottom half of record store day releases that will be going live tomorrow because it's the second drop of 2022 record store day tomorrow on June the 18th. Um, so we'll be having stock possibly go up on the website sometime over the weekend, depending on how we go in the stores. Um, and then we'll have stock in our stores ready to go at 9am tomorrow. Um, but yeah, keep your eye out and if there's anything that you see here today, you'll probably find it somewhere else over the weekend um, if you want to purchase it. So yeah, definitely keep your eye out and keep checking in on that. But um, first off, some non-record store day stuff to start us off. Um, I've got Slint with Spiderland. Um, these guys were like a 90s post-rock, uh, post-punk, grungish band that did a really cool LP. Um, they did a couple of cool ones, but this was their more popular one and it's been remastered in a gatefold LP. But yeah, it's a really awesome album, something I've really enjoyed for quite a bit of time. And it was pretty hard to get for quite a while, so now it's repressed and available at the moment. Thank you, Jess. Um, next up, I've got Neutral Milk Hotel with In The Aeroplane Over The Sea. Um, pretty staple piece in indie rock. Some consider it to be the best album ever. I'm not so sure about that, but it is definitely a great album. Um, but yeah, no, they're a really cool band. They write really good songs, and there definitely is a reason why so many people love their folkish sounds. She got a plate for her face. Pretty much. <laughs> She's just classic indie rock. <laughs> I thought it was some kind of fruit for some reason. I thought it was a lamb. I actually always thought it was the moon. Yeah, I was going to say it's the moon, isn't it? What the yeah. hell kind of fruit is it? Is it a tambourine? It could be a tambourine. No, it is. Is it? Oh, no. Oh, I got it right. <laughs> you guys thought it was the moon? Yeah, I thought yeah. it was the moon. Because it's like in the sky. Yeah, but it's attached to her neck. Um, it's indie rock, like. True, true. <laughs> Next up, we've got Mill & Colin, a European punk outfit with their album, Four Monkeys. Um, so yeah, these guys were like a European punk rock outfit, pretty popular in their time. Uh, one of the bigger European punk rock bands of the last couple of decades. But yeah, really cool punk rock um, from a really great band. And it's been repressed on blue with splatter or marble vinyl. Uh, it just says color there, but it's blue with like a black sort of marble-ish coloring on it. Um, but yeah, it looks really cool. And this is the Australian exclusive variant. So yeah, check it out. Thank you, Jess. Next up, another really awesome punk rock outfit, but this time from America, and that's upside down. Um, we've got Pennywise, um, not to be confused with Stephen King's Pennywise, uh, but this is Pennywise the band. Um, they're a punk rock outfit from, I believe, the West Coast. But yeah, they make some really cool punk rock, and this is another album to check out if you're into that. Thank you, Jess. And another classic, we've got Lemonheads with It's A Shame About Ray. Um, this was the album that they covered Mrs. Robinson on, and it's a really staple piece for alternative rock in the 90s. Um, a lot of really massive songs came from this album. The Lemonheads were obviously one of the bigger alt-rock bands of the 90s, but yeah, if you're into them, definitely something to check out. Really cool repress there. And last but not least for the new albums, we've got Run Rose Run, a new album from Dolly Parton that sort of explores a book that she co-wrote with some other guy and she <laughs> does it in song form. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I don't know, Sandy. Oh. I, 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 does it say? <laughs> no, nah, it doesn't even say. Oh, it, it does. Uh, James Patterson. Do you know Robert that? Patterson? No, Robert. James Patterson. Oh. Oh, close. <laughs> but not DC this time. Oh. Um, this is Dolly Parton, DP. Um, but yeah, there you go, Jess. Oh, Next wow. up. <laughs> 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 Next up, we've got 50 Years of TV's Greatest Hits. This is our first RSD record of today, um, and this one will be going live tomorrow if you guys didn't hear me earlier. But this is a really awesome compilation of different television theme songs and whatnot. Uh, it's pressed on two coloured splattered vinyl records and yeah it's got some really awesome theme songs I believe it was over 60 in total um, so you get a bit of bang for buck there um, but yeah you got things like Sesame Street, The Simpsons, MacGyver um, what have you got? Uh, the Monsters Bewitched yeah just Hawaii Five-O yeah. <laughs> but yeah a really awesome compilation of a lot of theme songs uh, possibly there's 60 to read so I'm not even going to try and look for it I want to read it now <laughs> um, next up, we have got Iggy Pop with his Live from Berlin in, I believe it was 1991 they recorded this? Yeah, 91. Um, but yeah, it's a really awesome clear one LP and another LP on Amber. Um, I believe the Amber is slightly transparent as well. But yeah, really awesome two LP compilation of some big Iggy Pop and Iggy and the Stooges songs performed really well live in Berlin in 1991. 
Um, next up, an album that I really enjoy um, is Victor Vaughan, aka MF Doom, with Vaudeville Villain. Um, this is a really cool two LP rap album that came out, I believe, in the early to mid two thousands. Um, another moniker from Daniel Dumoulin, but yeah, really awesome rap rap, rap record. Um, where he, yeah, he does his thing. He has comic book references. He's got samples from comic book television series, and he just raps really well. But yeah, really awesome album. Definitely check it out if you're a fan of the late MF Doom. Next up, we've got another punk album. It's a punk compilation this time, though, with Go Ahead Punk, Make My Day. Um, this is a punk compilation that was pressed by doo -doo 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 -doo, Nitro Records in the 90s. Um, it features songs from AFI, Guttermouth, um, Jugglehead's Revenge, The Vandals, Offspring, with a cover of Hey Joe. Um, but yeah, some really awesome tracks on here. It's on Orange Spider Vinyl. And it's a pretty cool little Western-themed punk compilation album. But yeah, definitely check it out if you're into punk music. And last but not least, certainly not least, because there will be a hell of a lot more titles in this dropping tomorrow, but this is the last one I brought in with me today. Um, Collective Soul with uh, Discipline Breakdown. Um, Collective Soul were like a pretty big band in the 90s. They produced some pretty big rock songs. This one's on, I think, Translucent Red Vinyl, that's right. Um, but yeah, really awesome band with some really awesome songs and really great songwriting. Definitely something worth checking out if you're into them. But yeah, that's a handful of the Record Sunday releases that will be coming out tomorrow. Um, again, if you guys didn't hear before, website sometime over the weekend, shops at 9am. But yeah, if you're looking for anything in particular, definitely keep your eye out and hopefully you can get what you want. Are you going to hold on to that one, Sandy? Or Thanks. Yeah, no, I will, because this is, this is awesome. <laughs> uh, everything about this. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What are you, what are you, what are you talking about? I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, thanks to Jess, I remembered to collate the playlist this week. I definitely would have forgotten to get it if she didn't remind me. So, yeah. from these albums, I've taken a few tracks that I really enjoy myself and put them into a playlist, and that is available for your listening on Spotify. Um, you can find our account at Pop Culture HQ. And then, yeah, it's just the Week in Review playlist where you can listen to some songs from here. Cool. I know what I'll be doing when I get home. But yeah, <laughs> thanks for having me, guys. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you all next week. See you, Will. See you, Will. See you, Blake. <laughs> and people behind the camera that aren't Blake. Boom. Bye. Bye, Will. <laughs> see ya. Hey, oh. Sandy. Hey. We've got some new Pokemon cards we and do. stuff. Hey, Blake, you like Pokemon? I do like Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> We have stuff. Yep. <laughs> yep. I don't want to talk about this. Yeah. I don't know what yeah, I'm doing. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> uh, so, new Pokemon, uh, these are new special collections uh, and beat boxes that we have uh, just got in. Uh, you've got the Pikachu uh, V um, special big card as well as some other uh, Pokemon packs in there. You've got Lucario, again, heaps of special foil Lucario cards with uh, great different uh, sword and shield booster packs, uh, awesome packs, you've got Bolt Hunt, uh, did I say that right? Like, yeah, you yeah, did. Awesome. Uh, so again, you're getting the character specific foil cards uh, and as well some bonus uh, booster packs also. Uh, this is the collector bundle, what you get, you get a nice little, uh, a, almost a diary or a notebook, uh, so plenty of blank pages that you can fill in uh, with whatever mm. you like. So Blake, you might even be able to draw in there. What? Draw a happy little Sandy in it, Blake, and Aww. best friends forever. Uh, if not, you know, maybe just you know, write down your to-do list, like ah, watch Facebook Live, win stuff. Uh, <laughs> plus Luke, write my name on the wheel. Uh, now this is one of the prizes for this week. <laughs> And this is one of the prizes for this week too, isn't it? Cindy? That's right. That's right. So one lucky winner uh, will uh, Luke will decide uh, whether you get on the wheel and then mm -hmm. spun. Uh, but going to what else is in the bundle? You get some sweet little stickers uh, as well, uh, so you can stick stick those on places. Wow! Well, um, I yeah. love sticking stickers in places. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you got some booster packs as well, uh, and then some. No. No. <laughs> No, no, got a muzzle on today. Uh, yeah, three special cards as well. Uh, the green, blue, and then red one. <laughs> yeah. The names are literally on there. Yeah, Rowlet, Oshawott, Cinderquill. And uh, you get a nice little um, coin. Uh, that was not on <laughs> Well, you heard it. Uh, again, one lucky winner will get that one. Uh, otherwise, um, definitely check it out on the website. And we've got some other Pokemon stuff over here too. We do, we do. From Mattel, these are the Mega Contracts. 
Uh, so kind of like a Lego thing, but not yeah. Lego. Uh, yeah, Mattel. Um, and these are little mini figures. So you know what you're getting, so they're not a mystery. Uh, a Pokemon character. Uh, one of the best ones in this line, and one that I had to pick up was Magica, which of course Jess is uh, not holding. Oh, um, no, oh, hold on, give me a minute, mate. Yeah. There we go, all yeah. on his own. Uh, so you open these ones up, and they're nice uh, little mini figures. Uh, that you can assemble, and they're, they're not too demanding in terms of uh, brain power. Can you uh, impersonate Magic Cup for everyone uh, who doesn't know what he sounds like? Do it. Splash. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, that's all right. He, he's uh, one of those one of those guys that you just have to believe in here and there, and uh, you know he'll let you down. Uh, so until he uh, evolves into Gyarados. We have Later this on. Umbreon and Espeon pack yeah. too, which looks really, really cool. They are. I love, I love all of, uh, all it come, of these. It comes with like a little base. That's super cute. I don't know much about this stuff. I'm just admiring what comes yeah, in there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank gosh. Like Sandy's actually knowledgeable about <laughs> yeah. most of the things on this table, Billion if not years. all. Uh, <laughs> all right, we'll go to something uh, you know and love, Bianca. A uh, bit of lounge fly. Hey, I know how to talk about lounge fly. Here we go. Yay. <laughs> all right, so we've got a whole bunch of US retailer exclusives this week to show you, starting with this really cool backpack and coin bag set, which is stylized like Disney princesses, but, but cakes, mm. <laughs> which is really cool. So we've got the custom shape applique, just kind of bringing the cake forward. Mm, yeah. <laughs> 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 and then um, there's different princesses all throughout, which is really, really cool. So you've got um, a few of them here, and then the coin purse is made of entirely different princesses as well. But hopefully not of actually the princesses themselves. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so we've got that. It's the layer cake bag. Um, we've also got this inside out cast mini backpack which is really really cool so i've got the control panel from headquarters in there and all the emotions standing behind it um you know running riley's head as they do and a nice little touch on the back is every day is full of emotions which is yeah. pretty cool and it, yeah. you know it's <clears throat> it's very true every day is definitely full of emotions yeah, <laughs> All good emotions. Joy. It's, it's, good. All joy. it's all joy. It's all joy. It's all joy. Back off, birthday boy. <laughs> now, this is something Sandy would really like. Yep. We've got a floral folk backpack here that features characters from Robin Hood, one of Sandy's favourite Disney yes. movies. You love yes. that song, don't you? Yes. That's what, how does it go? Ooh, la, 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 la. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> uh, what's really good about this one is that they've taken um, the characters from the scene where they're singing about Prince John and how he's the phony king of England. So no, I'm not. really just. <laughs> you don't like it? I said not a good song. Oh, I was going to say, about, gosh. Nothing about that song is not good. <laughs> it is an excellent song. So I really like how they've done that and then just put all pretty flowers and stuff on it. It's really cool and a really uniquely shaped bag as well. You don't see shapes like that, like loud flying. No. Um, what, as often. A I, no. I don't no, know. It's a, it's a uh, uh, yeah. shape. It's a shape. <laughs> That's not the usual shape. Uh, <laughs> and we've got Alice in Wonderland here. <laughs> <laughs> this is the doily portraits bag. So it's just a whole bunch of different Alice in Wonderland characters in little circles that look like doilies. And it's really cool. Like, it's all die cast cart and applique and everything. Got flowers and really nice color scheme and everything going on here. And then there's a silhouette of Alice on the back as well, which is a nice touch. Is that what oh no, how fun of a word is that? I was just thinking about that. <laughs> it's reminding me, like, me of like films or TV shows where they had like Doyle as a character. You're like, Doyle, Doyle. That's what it's reminding me Doyle yeah. I was gonna say, Doyle rules. <laughs> yes. um, Another one we've got here is the Beauty and the Beast um, Snap Flap backpack. And so, the reason... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you keep me with doily and then Snap Flap. <laughs> now the reason it's called Snap Flap is because you can snap it open and there's a flap where you can see the inside of the um, Beast Castle there, really? which is really cool. So you've got the ballroom down here, you've got the amazing library and the uh, Forbidden West Wing with the Enchanted Rose in there as well. Don't go in there. 
<laughs> no, you're not allowed. You are forbidden. Come to me in the forbidden room. <laughs> Another backpack we've got here, I know Jess would have something to say about. <laughs> I love it. It's Karomi and my, um, my Melody Cross, pretty much a scenery oat bag. I love it. Um, not enough black on it though, personally, for me, it's a bit too colourful. But, it doesn't mean it's not cute, and I love it. Um, we've just got them hanging out underneath the rainbow at the front of their house, having a good old time. And then you look on the back, and it's my Melody with the mousy dude. I don't His know. name is Flat. I learned that. Flat? Yep. It's her best name. It's oh, well. a mouse named Flat. Slay, we love that. And he has a little <laughs> crush on her, apparently. Oh! And why wouldn't you? She's adorable. Is her name My Melody? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, we were you listening? Oh. Yes, and that's I, what know. I was confused. Yeah, thank you very much. There's also a character called something like My Pretty Piano or something that's love friends that. with My Melody. Yes. Yes. Something along those yeah. lines. <laughs> well, I guess. Hello Kitty is her name, so that's... But Hello Kitty isn't a cat. Did you know what? Her name is Hello what? Kitty. What? <laughs> Hello Kitty, it got announced by the creative center that Hello Kitty isn't a cat. She's actually a little human girl, apparently. <laughs> that has literally changed my life. What? Yeah, the first time I heard that, I just I walked away. You know, I was like, I can't do this again. I, I don't know why you surprised Why does she look like a cat? <laughs> They're trapped for all the rest of Sanrio's mad world. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. But... They got a depressed egg sushi for crying out loud. Uh, <laughs> he's good though. He's yeah, good. Yeah. Love the dudes. <laughs> <laughs> he's, anyway. got, he's got the dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Pinocchio. <laughs> I love this backpack. I think it's really cool. I really love to the um, underwater scenery in the film. So this is exactly what it's stylized after. So we've got a curious seahorse checking out Pinocchio's and he's all in amongst his coral here. It's got some gorgeous um, embroidery work and everything. Then on the back, there's a little motif of the seahorse again with some I like bubbles. That's the seahorse looks like a horse. It does. And I also look, I like that it looks like it's got a mane. Yeah. A proper little mane as opposed to fins, which you need underwater to swim. But anyway, um, that's all we've got from Lounge Flying this week. Um, Sandy. Yep, yeah, we've got a heap of high end stuff. And as always, I'm going to have to rush through it. Uh, <laughs> so thanks. Uh, but the, the majority of this stuff that we're going to look at is from Code of Kia. <laughs> Uh, and really awesome, highly detailed stuff that it is. Uh, so first off, we've got Slifer, the Egyptian god uh, from Yu-Gi-Oh! So one of the three Egyptian gods. Uh, awesome, awesome. Uh, red dragon, kind of, let's, let's just call it's that. It's time to do 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 I'm waiting to do that. Thank you very much. This is an awesome piece. Uh, and the full lineup looks amazing. Uh, we haven't received the other two, so you've got all this the Tormentor, uh, and then uh, the other character that's escaping me right now. So obviously I'm not a uh, awesome. Uh, it's Ra, I think. Ra, yeah. the dragon. Look, he's a gold dragon. Yeah. Um, but yeah, really awesome piece. That the, is so cool. Yeah, the actual um, scales are sharp, so they give you like a Ooh. foam pad to assemble it. Because a lot of these, they're all pre-painted, and but they call them model kits because you have to like fit them together. You're um, not getting any little cutty one. What? <laughs> Genuinely, because <laughs> I did, I did, because I saw the phone pad. I, I saw the phone pad, and I'm like, "What's this?" I saw the instructions, and they're like folded over. They're like, yeah. and I'm like, "Who needs a phone pad?" And then I cut myself, and oh, then boy. I and then I resorted to the phone pad. So I highly recommend you pick this one up to do so. Be um, very careful assembling this one. Yes. Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Bit pointy. Slice, slice Slifer your hands. Um, <laughs> so nice. that is Slifer. You've got a fine art uh, statue of Magneto from X-Men. Uh, and uh, this is an awesome dynamic piece. One sixth scale. Uh, awesome base. Got all the metal and the missiles kind of bending to his will. Uh, really dominant kind of uh, stance and the cave flowing as well. Uh, this is a polystone, if not a cold cast porcelain statue. Uh, so it's got a bit of weight to it. Uh, but really awesome, kind of the, the fabric and the sculpting on this one, and especially the paint on it, uh, really is really awesome, and I really like this as an X Men fan. Heaps. Of, oh, sorry, were you going to say something? No, no. no I, was I, was, like I preempted. I was just little... like in awe of it. I'm looking at the paint and everything, and it's just so shiny and glorious, mm. and it also kind of looks like it belongs with Silver Sky Dragon, just because 
the red. They're matchy matchy. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I, I like mean, that combo. Universes collide. Mm. Why not? Yep. We've got um. <laughs> <laughs> That's some Star Wars uh, items again from Kota Kia, uh, straight out of the animated series uh, of uh, the Clone Wars, as well as the Bad Batch uh, and Captain Rex, and then Wrecker, uh, and obviously being both clones, they have. Uh, same genes and so their faces uh, look very similar um, but there's personalized uh, traits and features for both of them uh, so Captain Rex is actually a part of a two kind of diorama set with Ahsoka which we do have so you can kind of Ooh. join the bases as you can see it's a semi semicircle so imagine another semicircle and then you've got two pieces that interconnect that's really cool so it's essentially like rebuilding a scene yeah correct yeah that's uh, really battle cool. of the clones I believe is the, the uh, diorama piece name. Uh, you can kind of adjust where his guns are kind of pointing as well and then you can display him with his helmet which is there as well. They've done a good job of capturing the um, like the animation style but also kind of making it their own too. Like it's not super hard edged. And, yeah yeah and that's what I really like about Kota Kia in terms of they, they stick really faithful uh, to their the source material on these uh, and make it something you know really awesome in a 3D um, fashion mm -hmm. as well. So Wrecker as well being again the same kind of source material uh, but from the Bad Batch um, and there's a full line coming out so Hunter's on the way as well uh, but again you can display him with um, the uh, unhelmeted portrait or the helmeted portrait and it does come with a knife so a different kind of uh, posing um, method there. One seventh scale for these ones so nice and small and compact uh, they're a little bit of assembly in the process of that but uh, once they fit together it's uh, yeah looks, looks good looks good Last uh, Star Wars, uh, kind of different in terms of source material. It's more of an artist's uh, concept uh, of Darth Vader. So not really the traditional Darth Vader that we're all used to. Uh, it accentuated different features, um, but oh. a cool concept nonetheless. Because I was looking at this earlier and I was trying to figure out um, what in, like rendition it was. But it's really, really cool. Yeah, I like it. I, I think it's cool. It's definitely different. Uh, from anything I've, I've seen before. I'm not exactly sure um, about the artist. I'm not familiar at least, but there's a lot of Ralph McQuarrie kind of original uh, Star Wars design. The helmet kind of definitely on. looks like it's coming from that kind of uh, concept era. Yeah. Um, for sure. Uh, but yeah, really awesome. So, I mean, if you're a massive kind of Star Wars uh, fan, yeah, it's awesome to kind of grab pieces <sighs> that... Um, Sorry, I just worked out... Uh, been trying to work out what on earth he has been standing on. Is it Obi Wan's cloak and that's his saber after yeah, he disappears? I, I believe so. Oh, I believe so. I, I believe. I that thought that's... someone had lost the middle out of their roast baby, roast gravy <laughs> and beef sandwich, but no, it's Obi Wan's no. cloak. Yeah, because it uh, makes really? a lot of sense because it's yeah Obi Wan's lightsaber on the ground there. So that is good, a nice good touch. Pick up, mate. That's that's really good by you. It's good by you. <laughs> that's really um, the last couple of things from Cut Over Here, you've got My Hero Academia, Deku, uh, version 2, uh, You're My Hero, Amanda, is that You're My Hero? No? no? I can be. You, you can pick it up, it's not. Nice. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is a really cool piece. I don't know much about My Hero, but I'm loving all the, uh, light. I want to say lightning action. I could be wrong. Talking to the wrong person, but uh, yeah, really awesome with dynamic. Uh, so, yeah, I, I mean, if I was interested uh, in the series, uh, this would definitely um, capture my attention for sure. So uh, It's not too much weight to it as well. Um, no. So you don't have to worry about it, you know, take, taking up a lot of space on your shelf or, like, having to kind of haul it around anywhere. If you want to, like, put it somewhere else, so, like, immediately, all of a sudden, you can, and it's not going to be too much of a big deal. Anyway... <laughs> Uh, we had other stuff also. Yeah, we had <laughs> the smallest uh, kind of uh, kind of here. Uh, the piece that we got is a GI Joe uh, Snake Eyes Two. Uh, so Dawn Marino, or she calls herself Snake Eyes Two, uh, in that kind of his signature line, which is Shoju line, um, which is uh, beautiful woman. I believe it translates to. Um, oh. So uh, this uh, yeah is very accentuated. Um, mm. I'll say. Least. Um, physics, <laughs> gravity, and anatomy defined. Uh, yes, yeah. that's correct. Uh, go Joe. Um, <laughs> but a really awesome piece, and a lot of the, the line uh, it does look good together, uh, and again, in kind of a, a different, non-typical um, fashion. 
um, representation, let's say. That's kind of the thing that the show drew line, though, right? They take existing characters and then try and sexify them up a bit. Yeah, y yes, yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely uh, a stylistic choice, um, and that's kind of something that they own, um, so it's kind of bringing it in, into something that no one else has done and kind of. Uh, well, sorry. Uh, <laughs> something that isn't typical. Uh, no, uh, it's the <laughs> line. Wow. Um, <laughs> everyone does this. Everyone does these statues, but uh, or similar styles. What I'm kind of saying, but uh, these are really unique, uh, and there's, there is a whole kind of line of them. There's horror, uh, My Little Pony, all these awesome Bashoju uh, statues. Uh, whilst the final few remnants of statues uh, from Royal Solingo, we've got the uh, New Hope uh, Shooter Dioramas, uh, so designed off of the uh, New Hope poster, uh, and you've got the backdrop as well as the, uh, the layer and loop. Um, so now the backdrops are removable too, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, so you can separate them as well, so you can just shift it back uh, if you so wish, or just completely uh, take it out, but it is a magnetic connection as well. So. That is really cool. Yeah, uh, really awesome. So pewter being one of the more uh, malleable metals, uh, they can uh, sculpt uh, into it and um, yeah, make it look really nice and have that uh, metallic characteristic with it. Um, and you might be wondering what the gold version is, still pewter, or oh, it's gilt. Um, so it's, uh, and they're, the gilt ones are highly limited or more limited than the pewter ones. They are expensive, but uh, the detail that goes into them and the materials involved uh, in making them uh, kind of indicate um, that, or as well represent that kind of higher price point. Definitely uh, different and something that uh, you can probably get away with more than uh, something super flashy uh, and large um, colour-wise. It's kind of a more of a classic antique look, I suppose, is the best way of describing it. Last couple of things, and then we're on to the prizes. Yeah, so we've got some stuff from Bandai, which I think Jess will be a oh. great <laughs> do a great job of pronouncing their name. Doing me dirty. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, Yuji Itadori. Uh, oh. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> no. Megumi Furushi Guru? Yeah, yeah Guru. Right. Uh, so so I'm bilingual. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, these uh, figure arts minis from uh, Bandai to Marketing Nations. Really kind of nice. articulated and again, kind of nice and stylistic, small uh, display uh, or uh, size, uh, and really nice. Look good, look good. Speaking of looking good, we have some SH figure arts as well. So we've got Piccolo, and he looks pretty cool. Got heaps of interchangeable accessories and stuff. Lots of dynamic poses you can kind of do. That's the really cool thing about these figures is, as well as that, as Sandy says, they're so highly articulated, yet they're so tiny. Mm. They're so tiny. But yeah, there are no heaps of people that collect uh, these lines. Uh, they will be the best uh, Dragon Ball or action figures of any license that you can get because uh, of their size, but uh, deceiving kind of a highly articulated nature of them so you can uh, smash out any kind of dynamic pose that you really want to with these figures uh, and they look amazing, especially when you have multiple of them. Uh, from Ranking of Kings, uh, we have this main character. Boji um, <laughs> and Cage? Boji, Boji, I don't know. Uh, I know very little about this anime, uh, but it's... He looks very nice. pleasant though, you know, walking along, having a good time. Yeah. Looks like my kind of guy. Yeah. I can imagine him walking on to walking on sunshine uh, and it just working very, very well. Uh, but yeah, really awesome. And I really like uh, this in that um, that style, that SH figure arts. Looks like a good bloke. Does look like a good bloke. Looks I like a would, bloke. Yeah, I'd get along with him, I'm sure. Uh, but that is all for the show. Uh, we got it in reasonable time, and now what it means is it's prize wheel time. So if you've been commenting on the feed, Luke will have gone, mm, yes, mm, no, not worthy, uh, and uh, put you on the prize wheel, and we're about to spin it for a prize. Uh, I reckon. What do we do first? I reckon diecast. Uh, or uh, do we build up? No, nah, we go best. We go best. Yeah, straight out of the gate. Let's do it. They're all good, but this one's the, the better. Sure. Alright, let's go. I don't know why, man. It makes a tail sound. I don't know why. I did that. <laughs> Just added the zaps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <gasps> 
Troy Mack. Congratulations, Woo! Troy. You've won this diecast Darth Vader. Please send us a Facebook message with your name, email address, and shipping address so we can get it sent out to you ASAP. Yes, definitely, definitely one to uh, get onto and message. Otherwise, well, Blake's going to be all over it if you don't. Uh, I don't know. Blake's, Blake's not interested because it's not oh. a chase. True, uh, true. So, but definitely send us a message. Now, Troy, I just want to let you know, mate, if it does land on your name a second time, sorry, mate, we can't give you another one. No, no seconds. No, no seconds. <laughs> uh, so we will keep spinning until it's another person. But Luke, you're going to do better this time. We're yeah, gonna... you watch. No muscle memory. Not today. No double ups. Here we go. <laughs> oh, this, this is for this. This is the Pokemon pack. <laughs> Luke, panic, panic. panic. Wait. Wait. That, that stuff. What are we giving away? I don't know. We're just fun with no idea. <laughs> but it's definitely not going to be for you, Troy. <laughs> it's definitely not going to land on <laughs> Troy. <laughs> Sherry Rose! Woo! Congratulations, Sherry Rose. Please send us a message on Facebook with your name, postal information, and your email address so we can get that sent out to you. All right, uh, mystery prize. Pressure's on. Uh, pressure's on. What I want to do, because it's my birthday, we're going to give away Whoa. this a of Obey figure. Uh, so this is a little bit of uh, my birthday present to you. Uh, oh, you're so, so generous. Yeah, Andy. it's okay. If you don't like this, just let me keep it. Uh, that's, that's how this works. Yeah, we'll just give the old rock songs now. Put you on here soon if you want. No, 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 no. no. Right. Don't, don't worry about it. Uh, just spin that wheel. Let's uh, do it. Sweet Super 7 Obey figure. Mm. Obey, submit and consume. One of the greatest fight scenes in any movie ever. Longest fight scene yeah, I've seen. Definitely, definitely. Oh, Aiden Waters! Well done, Aiden. Happy birthday, mate. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is now yours, from me to you. Uh, send us a private message on Facebook. Name, shipping address, um, and uh, email address. Email. Uh, thank you, Bianca. And uh, yeah, again, have a great day, mate. Uh, this is all about you. Obey. All right. Take it easy. Uh, one thing we will have to mention before uh, we we press stop on that recording is that this weekend we are in Sydney mm. uh, for Supernova uh, Expo, and uh, we've got the full crew there. We've got Josh. Um, we've got heaps of other awesome people as well. <laughs> I can reel them off. I just, you I, couldn't. <laughs> we've got Declan, we've got Chloe, we've got Toby, we've got Doggy, we've got, uh, who else have we got in there? Um, we've got Tara, we've got... Uh, Tara's there? Tara's there. Oh, yeah. oh, Amy's going to be there as Amy. well. Amy, yeah. yeah. Heaps of people, we don't have enough time, nor are you like, oh, oh wait, yes. Who are these people? Yeah. They yeah. seem nothing to me. <laughs> uh, go and see them though, have a chat, get a good deal, they're going to be mm. heaps of good deals uh, at Supernova. Come and see the guests, uh, there's heaps of good stuff to uh, go and see uh, and buy as well. I know uh, I've seen a lot of the stock that we sent up there, it's nothing but the best. Uh, so if you're in Sydney uh, or you're just going to get on a plane and go up there, it's at the Sydney showgrounds, you can get tickets on the door or uh, purchase online. Make a really good long list of questions to go and ask Josh. So anything long about the super supernatural, uh, conspiracy theories, um, all that good stuff, he'll be all about it and he'll be more than happy to discuss mm -hmm. it with you. But don't push him too much because his ego can't, can't handle too much. Mm -hmm. At least for us in the next <laughs> couple of weeks. No so fancy good. words. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it simple, keep yeah. it real. Uh, but Supernova in Sydney, definitely check it out. Uh, and uh, I hope this episode has been alright without Andy, without a little bit of. Uh, oh boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh boys. Oh boy. 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 Check out next week. We're going to be back for another week in review. My name has been Sandy, Bianca, Jess. We have Handsome Will. We've got Luke who spins wheels. Uh, and then Blake behind the camera just doing his best camera ever. I'm fine uh, for my life, Sandy. Yep, yep, yep. Best thing you've ever done, mate. Uh, we'll see you next week. Have a great weekend.